four, three, two, one. Hey, Shagheads, Curtis Tucker here with another exciting episode of a Shaggy Life podcast. First, I've got to apologize for not getting an episode out every week. That is my ultimate goal. And the only thing really holding me back is just trying to come up with uh, the episode ideas that I think you guys might be interested in listening to. And so that's really the only thing holding me back. If you guys have some ideas, send them to me at um, curtis at curtistucker.com or shags at shaggyduck.com. And I would love to hear your feedback. If you guys are listening to the podcast on a regular basis, uh, let me know. We would love to hear from you and where you guys are at. And so if you guys are listening to the podcast, don't forget that uh, I am waving at the people on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can see me uh, basically here in the Shaggy Duck studio recording the podcast. Um, so that's uh, youtube.com slash at Curtis Tucker. It's just the Curtis Tucker channel on YouTube. And if you guys just happen to catch this episode on YouTube, uh, don't forget, if you want to listen to other podcast episodes, you can listen to those on pretty much all your favorite podcasting platforms. And I do host this podcast on Buzzsprout, so you can find all the episodes on Buzzsprout. But uh, uh, if you are on YouTube right now or on your phone, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast and to the YouTube channel. I'm trying to build up a bigger subscription base on the YouTube channel. And if I can get enough hours watched, I think I've got enough subscribers uh, to start making money, but I got to get more hours. So I'm going to have to upload a lot more videos. So be looking for a lot more videos on everything from here on out. As I get time, we'll do a lot more videos. But anyway, subscribe, and I would appreciate it. And as you guys probably read on the uh, title of tonight's episode, you're probably wondering, what the heck is tonight's episode all about? I think I've probably mentioned this maybe a time or two. I haven't gone into a whole lot of detail, but um, this is a story of who is Dane Pettigrew, and I thought it would be just kind of a fun uh, episode on kind of the way of the internets. And so I'll start from the beginning. I'll explain who Dane Pettigrew is. And then uh, we're going to kind of, while I'm doing the episode, I'm going to be surfing the internet for stuff. And then as I find things, I will describe to you what I have found. So back in 1975, a kid moved to Enid, Oklahoma, named Staten Pettyjohn, and he became my best friend in sixth grade, and we remained best friends all through junior high and high school. And then in college, I went off to uh, North Oklahoma, and he went down to North Texas. And so we didn't get to see each other as much, but uh, being best friends, we kept in touch. So I would cruise down there every couple of months, and then he would come up uh, and see me every couple months. But I think it was around 1986, and I think it might have been when I was graduating from college, he was uh, going to come up to my graduation, and instead of driving, he decided to fly. And so uh, I was going to go down to Will Rogers World Airport in Oklahoma City to pick him up. And there was some weather, and I'm going to try. I'm trying to remember what the exact story was. He he. There was weather either in Oklahoma City or in Dallas, and so I wanted. I, it might have been in Oklahoma City, and so I wanted him to know that uh, flights were going to be delayed. I, I think this is how it went. Um, and so I called down to the Dallas Fort Worth airport. I believe this is how it went. And I asked them if they could leave a message for Staten Petty John that um, the flight was going to be delayed or something like that. And so they and so they announced over the intercom, you know, they called his name and then had a message for him. And when they called over the intercom at the airport, you know, they said, I they didn't say. I, I said his name was Staten Pettyjohn. They 
mistook it as Dane Pettigrew. And so they were announcing over the intercom at the airport, there is a message for a Dane Pettigrew. Dane Pettigrew, a message for Dane Pettigrew. Well, Staten knew somehow, I don't know how, uh, one of those synchronicities, somehow he knew that that was close enough to his name that it probably had something to do with him. So he went to get the message and um, found out that Dane Pettigrew actually was for Staten Pettyjohn. And so he got the message and we connected. I, and so anyway, it was something to do with the weather and the flights or anything. But anyway, he finally gets to Oklahoma and he was telling us about the story about how they were announcing, uh, looking for a guy named, or a person named Dane Pettigrew. And so we kind of had a laugh about it. And that always kind of stuck in my head. And, and there was kind of a, a ongoing joke about be, him being Dane Pettigrew. So, so that happened and life went on. And then I got into the internet, uh, you know, 1999 and, uh, started building websites. And then by 2002, um, had really gotten more into the internet and started building a lot of websites. And one of the, so what I was looking for was a lot of websites that I could build that would uh, get a lot of traffic and that I would make Google AdSense with. And, and so basically, you know, they just had to be websites where I could get a lot of traffic. And one of the websites that I created was called um, funnylittlesayings.com. And on that website, I basically just scoured the internet for sayings. And then I would like make little categories and I would put sayings on there. And I thought, you know, to make mine a little more original, than all of the other uh, saying websites out there, I decided I wanted to add my own sayings to it. And then I also wanted to see if there was other websites out there that were just what we call scraping, uh, basically taking all the content from one website and making their own website. And so I thought I'm gonna test that with my own sayings. And so one day I sat down and I came up with uh, several really goofy, just, I mean, real quick goofy sayings that I thought would be, you know, just kind of goofy that people might use. And um, I wanted to use a name that was not on the internet uh, because that way, if anybody copied the saying and the name, um, those would own, they would, they would be the only websites on the internet that had that name. And so, uh, Dane Pettigrew popped into my head and I thought, I'm going to do these quotes and make the quotes from a, uh, imaginary guy named Dane Pettigrew. And so we're, when we're talking Dane Pettigrew, we're, it, it's spelled D A N E. Dane, and then Pettigrew, I spelled P-E-D-D-I-G-R-E-W, Pettigrew. So I came up with, uh, I don't know, even know, not, not a whole bunch, but what I would do is I would have like a category of sayings for people turning 50 and people turning 60 and, and uh, birthday sayings and, and different things like that. And so I tried to make up a couple of different sayings for each category. And so I published those on funny little sayings. And uh, again, it was just one of the websites where I was making a lot of um, Google AdSense money. Since then in 2012, 2013, when the whole thing collapsed, I eventually quit updating that um, website. And I believe I took it offline. I, I don't even think I own the domain name anymore. I don't think um, I could look that up, but um, so it's completely gone. It's all gone, but come to find out, uh, you know, I, I think I kind of forgot about it. And then years later, I kind of remembered what I had done. So I started searching for Dane Pettigrew and I was very surprised at what I found. And so so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to kind of, uh, I'll read you the goofy little sayings that I came up with and, uh, show you where they are. So if you go to Google 
and you type in just the just the name Dane Pettigrew. Now, at one time, and I can't find it now, but at one time, there was a forum, and I don't remember if it was Reddit or what, but there was a forum where some girl was actually trying to find out who Dane Pettigrew was, and I think she found some information and thought she had discovered who it was, and I actually got on her forum and told her that I was Dane Pettigrew, and that, and that may be why it, it's no longer there. She may have deleted it. Um, basically, I told her that I was Dane Pettigrew, and I was an imaginary person. So, But anyway, so, so what I did was I put all these Dane Pettigrew sayings on my website, funny little sayings, and I did not submit these anywhere else or put these anywhere else. So, so they found their way on other websites because of the scraper... Uh, these other guys or people were creating websites and they just scraped the internet for information and then put those sayings and stuff on their websites. And so if you type in Dane Pettigrew, uh, at least if I do type it in, uh, the first um, the first website that comes up is called All Great Quotes and it's allgreatquotes.com and then it says Dane Pettigrew Quotes. I mean, Dane Pettigrew has his own page. So I click on that and it goes to a page called Dane Pettigrew Quotes and it's, it's a whole page um, just for him. And it's only got two of, his, two of the sayings on there, but it, like my website back in the day, is filled with Google AdSense ads. And so, you know, it's more Google AdSense ads than it really is my quotes. But anyway, so here's one of the quotes. You're a certified classic at 60. Dane Pettigrew. The other quote is, forget the block. When you're 60, you've been around the entire neighborhood a few times. Dane Pettigrew. And so, like I say, I, I mean, I literally made up these sayings in like seconds. I just wanted to I didn't care how stupid they were, if they were funny, if people would really use them or not. I just wanted to make up some imaginary quotes and attribute them to Dane Pettigrew and put them on the internet. So that's so so these weren't meant to be serious or or well used quotes. So that that's the first one. Then the next um, finding that we have is for Pinterest, and if you click on the Pinterest, it says a sixtieth birthday sayings, quotes, and greetings. And then if you scroll down, uh, people have used my quotes and turned them into graphics. And they're on that page. And the, the uh, sayings are attributed to Dane Pettigrew. So not only do I have my own page on quote websites, but I've got my own visuals on Pinterest. And so the next section is images. And if you click on images again, um, some of these images come through from uh, quote websites. Uh, another, then you go down, there's another Pinterest. Then there's a, the next one's called allinspiration.com. And if you click on it, it they have their own um, section called 60th birthday verses. And it's got a list of a whole bunch of different verses and one of them is forget the block when you're 60 you've been around the entire neighborhood a few times uh, the second one is you're a certified classic at 60 that's dane pettigrew and then here's another one the maturity of 60 would be better spent if it came at age 20 uh, dane pettigrew and then right after those dane pettigrew quotes we've got a dr seuss um, George Burns, George Carlin, Jay Leno. So, you know, the funny thing is these um, Dane Pettigrew quotes are mixed in with uh, quite a few famous people. So that's on that page. Then if we go to, um, there's a Facebook page, which I don't want to click on because I may get stuck. Um, there's a page called birthdaymessages.com. It's got 60th birthday wishes. And then again, it's got a lot of quotes and it's got one of the, it says, uh, forget the block when you're 60. Uh, and that's attributed to Dane Pettigrew. What, what I find kind of interesting is most of the people, well, and I'm, I'm sure that's, I, I haven't searched for the quotes 
without the name Dane Pettigrew, but it's interesting that so many of these websites did keep the quotes attributed to um, Dane Pettigrew rather than just uh, putting the quote without any saying who the author was. Uh, here's one called Wish a Friend, and it's actually got a big photograph that's got like a birthday present, and on the photograph they have put the, so somebody spent some time and put the words, I may be 30, but I'll always be flirty, uh, and that is a Dane Pettigrew quote, and that again is on um, wishafriend.com. So I've got my own photograph there. So then we go to page two, and there's some kind of weird pages mixed in here, but again, there's really no, the only pages you're going to find Dane Pettigrew on are pretty much where my quotes are because it's a made up name and uh, nobody has stolen it for anything else so far. So it's, it's pretty much just got uh, the saying pages. There's a homemade gifts made easy.com and it's got a lot of quotes on it. And uh, we got some quotes from Jack Benny, William Shakespeare, and um, Dane Pettigrew. Uh, forget, that's the one, forget the block, uh, you've been around the whole neighborhood. Uh, got a quote from Chili Davis, Lucille Ball. So anyway, I'm uh, in there with some pretty good company. There's a LinkedIn page. Um, let me go down. We've got echosalon.com, 30 famous quotes about being in your 30s. And this page, this is all the way back from, 20, this page was put together in 2012. Uh, we've got a quote from C.S. Lewis and uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald. And then 30 is the new 20, unless you're 20, then it's the new 40. And that's from Dane Pettigrew. So another one of my funky little sayings that I, again, made up on the spur of the moment. And I think that's the only one I've got on that page. But uh, again, a lot of famous quotes from a lot more famous people than Dane Pettigrew. Uh, next one is happybirthdayquotes.com. And I believe there's another C.S. Lewis, Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, Fanny Fink, Shaka Khan, and let me find Bette Midler, Robert Frost, C.S. Lewis, Aristotle, and then there's Dane Pettigrew. I may be 30, but I'll always be flirty. Uh, and, oh, here's another one. Um, 30 is the new 20, unless you're 20, then it's the new 40. So I got two quotes on that page. Then we go to page three, and again, uh, then we're starting to kind of phase out and run out of pages. But so then what I did was I did a image. Well, at first, well, I did an image search. So if you if you type in Dane Pettigrew and you click on images, um, there's this image called Capital News, but I went to visit it, and it is a website called Capital Lifestyle, or I guess it's, yeah, um, and it's got a whole bunch of pics from a uh, Amber Ray's 30th birthday party. Now, I'm not sure who Amber Ray is, but she looks like uh, she might be pretty famous. Um, it's got a whole bunch of uh, pictures of her huge birthday party in, in this website or magazine, uh, and it's under celebrities, so um, they did an entire, and this was from 2021, they did an entire article on her birthday party with tons and tons and tons of pictures, but if you scroll all the way down to the article, bottom of the article, uh, below all of the pictures, it says, 30 is the new 20 unless you're 20, then it's the new 40, Dane Pettigrew, and it says turning 30 in style means that it doesn't matter where you are in your life compared to the others around you. It is about embracing what you have achieved and who you have become looking to the future with gusto. So at the end of their article on Amber Ray, they used a Dane Pettigrew quote uh, as part of the article, which is 
kind of funny. And so then I clicked on, then I decided to click on news. Um, and there's a, a news article from Dateline, but it's Dateline dot ng so it's not uh the american dateline it's uh ng which i it might be nigeria i'm not exactly sure but it's uh, an article about i can't even say this person's name g b a j a b i a m i l a um stepping onto the sixth floor and so uh it's an article and it starts out with a quote from Jack Benny that says, age is strictly a case of mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. Then it goes into this whole article about this person um, turning 60, uh, whoever this person is. Um, and But anyway, you go all the way down. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, to almost the... Um, end of the article, the second to the last paragraph, it says, Dane Pettigrew, it was, who said, forget the block, when you're 60, you've been around the entire neighborhood a few times. Uh, take it or leave it, in his 60s, gabba, baba, baba, whatever, has uh, been around the entire Nigerian neighborhood, not just a few times, but also numerous times. So basically, the uh, news article took a quote from Dane Pettigrew, and again, use that quote in their article, uh, which is again, kind of funny. So, uh, those are most of the, there's a few other images, but I think they go to, um, quote websites. Here's a image of a dog that goes to a photographer's website. And uh, she's got some funny pictures of dogs. I'm assuming there's probably a Dane, Pettigrew, or maybe she just got Great Danes. I'm not sure why. Yeah, she's got Great Danes, so that for some reason that's why that popped up. Um, so anyway, uh, just thought it was kind of funny to be able to. So th that kind of gives you guys an idea. Here's one called Hub Pages. Let me see. Um, Hub Pages has. Um, quotes and it's got see if there's a different one on here um no 30 is a new 20 unless you're 20 that's a new 40 dane pettigrew yeah i thought i had done a few more but the, i think the other ones that i did were not about certain birthdays and so they don't i guess they didn't make the other these websites because they were they and some of them were really really bad some of those quotes so it's kind of interesting which quotes um, got used so I'm looking real quick to make sure there's not any different ones so anyway that kind of gives you an idea of how content is spread um, and so there are quite a few websites that are using um, the Dane Pettigrew quotes when Dane Pettigrew is not even a real person or the name wasn't even used. So um, it shows you that how wide uh, these things can get spread, especially with these bots that do the scraping and stuff. Um, 50th heartfelt birthday quotes for you. Um, looks like it's they've got the same quotes. Trying to see if there was uh, going to be like at least one website that might have a different quote, but there's sayings plus. I mean, and it goes on. There's quite a few pages of um, quotes, Graham, 53 birthday quotes. Let's see if, they, oh, and theirs is all pictures. So people have used, have turned the quotes into like pictures. And so their website has made up all of these pictures where they've stolen, not stolen, I guess stolen, I don't know, stolen, not stolen. Um, Holodappy.com, Thoughtful Gift Club, some Instagram accounts, uh, 
26 engrossing collections from designpress.com. Yeah, so if you go to Design Press, they have got uh, quotes from Muhammad Ali. Yeah, that website blipped out on me. Um, yeah, it's a, one of those websites that's got pop-ups, so that's not working too well. So anyway, there you go. If you guys are ever wonder, if you guys ever run a across a quote by Dane Pettigrew, you'll know that it's me. So I may end up doing more uh, stuff with Dane Pettigrew just to see, you know, if it keeps adding. I might maybe do some new quotes and see if they show up at other places on the internet. But. Um, there you go. That's kind of, uh, I think I've done an episode two where I made up the word zoink, zoink, zoinkies, uh, and zoinkology. So I used to put the word zoinkology on the homepage of all my websites. So when I would go to Google, if I would type in zoinkology, only my homepages of all my websites would pop up and then I could click on them really quick and make sure everything um, was online. So it's kind of interesting to find the words that I've made up over the years, how they've uh, kind of progressed. I, another word I made up was web, web zot, W-E-B-Z-O-T. So I used to own the domain webzot.com and then I let it go. Let's see if webzot turned in anything. Um, it's trying to give me an alternate website. Yeah, there's a WebZot uh, Technologies, and I don't know if they're using, but then then a whole bunch of people started using WebZot as their username, and that's usually what happens is uh, some of the funky words that I make up usually end up being usernames uh, for people, but nobody's using uh, Dane Pettigrew at this point, so... Uh, Anyway, if you guys need any funny quotes, here is a foreign. Um, yeah, all the same ones. So anyway, there you go. That's my uh, kind of a short episode, but I want to get something on, something kind of funky. Uh, if you guys ever need a name, if, uh, a pretend name, if you ever get in trouble, I will allow you guys to use Dane Pettigrew. We'll just get um, Dane Pettigrew in all kinds of trouble. And uh, if you guys run across something that I haven't found, if you guys find that forum, um, let me know. Here is a book. Love, love that S-H-I-T. Somebody wrote a book. And it must have a Dane Pettigrew quote in it. Let's see if I can find it. Um, wow. Nah, I'm not going to be able to find it because there are a lot of pages. I mean, it literally. Eh, oh, it's an ebook. Okay. Well, it's only a buck ninety nine, but I have a feeling my. Let's see if my quote is at the beginning of one of the chapters here, real quick. Um, Da, 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 da. Pretty sure it's probably got one of my quotes. Yep, yeah, there we go. Um, chapter 8, Life Begins at 30. 30 is a new 20. Unless you're 20, then it's the new 40. Dane Pettigrew. So, ah, quote made a an ebook as well. So, again, kind of funny uh, when you throw stuff out there on the Internet. And there's other stuff. There's images. You know, the images... The image of me holding the Farrah uh, Fawcett poster is like everywhere. Uh, it's on a lot of websites, a lot of memes, a lot of videos. Uh, so, you know, when you put stuff out there, uh, it does get shared. It does end up in a whole bunch of funky different places. Um, no Dane Pettigrew in videos. Let me go to shopping real quick, see if there's... No, I'm not seeing anything in shopping. And um, that's about it. So kind of a short episode. Going to keep it here like about 30 minutes, but uh, trying to think of some more funky ideas. I'm off to, uh, actually off to Granberry. 
this weekend to see Staten go down there and spend some time at the lake. So I will brainstorm with him, try to come up with some different episode ideas. Uh, I do have some stuff going on. Um, so, so my main project's going on right now that I'll try to keep you guys in the loop on. Uh, of course, everybody asks about the book. Um, I've got lots of ideas for the book. I'm just trying to decide on that one final plot or hook because I don't want it to just be a book randomly about the 70s because I'm afraid a lot of people that aren't that interested in just what life was like in the 70s are, is, might not read the book and then it might have less of a chance of being turned into a movie unless there's like a a plot or a, a you know kind of a underlying story that uh, people can get interested in. So once I get that idea that the book's going to go quick, uh, another thing is uh, my painting. So I've got all my painting stuff. Uh, and then the other, the last thing I think is the uh, t-shirt and lifestyle brand. And so what I'm kind of doing is I'm going to combine the paintings and the t-shirts and the lifestyle brand into one thing, which is the one of the new things that I'm working on, and I'm just about to finish up the logo on it, and that's the uh, Art Aruni. And so, because since my paintings, I hope, and my artwork that'll be on t-shirts is going to be kind of pop art and fun and cartoony and, and all that, uh, I think that's all going to go under kind of this new Art Aruni um, label. And on the t-shirts that I'm going to do, uh, I am going to have my own labels in the t-shirts. And so it's going to be a whole line of kind of retro kind of related fun, fun stuff. So I'll be unveiling that. And I, and I may do an episode where I just talk about the behind the scenes of getting all that created. So anyway, those are the main things that I have going on. And then of course, just trying to keep the podcast updated, the blog at curtistucker.com. So, um, I'm not sure if I'll get an episode. I'm not sure if I'll turn this into a blog post. Um, but a lot of my, if you're listening to one of my podcast episodes and you want to learn more or, or see more, uh, they, a lot of the podcast episodes correspond to a blog post on Curtis Tucker. Dot com. So you can go there and check those out. But uh, go to CurtisTecker.com. I've got a section on my memories of the 70s. I've got a section on all the adventures that I go on. Um, and then a section on just my journaling. And then uh, just another thing real quick. Uh, I will be going to see the movie Twisters um, a week from this Friday. And so hopefully uh, my uh, little stint in the movie as an extra will be... You guys will be able to see me on film, but until I see the movie, I won't know. But as soon as I see it, I'll let you guys know. So that's another update. So just have a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I just keep piling it on. And uh, But I usually can find time to do a podcast episode. I just got to have some ideas. So if you guys have some ideas or some things, uh, you know, if you want me to talk more about songs or movies or memories of the 70s or doing wacky stuff on the internet or going on wacky adventures... Um, just let me know and, uh, give me an assignment or a challenge or something and I'll see if I can do it. But anyway, go to, uh, Curtis Tucker, uh, the Curtis Tucker channel on YouTube, subscribe to it, go and subscribe to my podcast, uh, on one of your favorite podcasting apps, uh, send me email, Curtis at Curtis Tucker.com or shags at shaggy duck.com. And I would love to hear from you guys. That's about it. I'm going to get out of here. See ya.